I want to thank everybody for uh, coming to our first of what we hope are going to many, be many candidate training sessions for the Libertarian Party of Indiana. Uh, my name is Sam Goldstein. I have the honor of serving as state chair of the party. And uh, I think that we have a wonderful opportunity during this next election season and in future election seasons to have a major impact on the political uh, climate in the state of Indiana. I'd like to think over the next year, we're gonna have what's called a target-rich environment of state, state legislators who have had minimal, if no opposition in the past, having well-trained libertarian candidates go up against them. Uh, in the county races and in your local races, what they may be in the 2010 election campaign, we're gonna have people who are increasingly more articulate, have a better handle on what's going on in the state and in the nation, and be able to express that because of these training sessions. Uh, Chris Spangles, who our executive director, will be coming up next to kind of go over some housekeeping stuff and introduce the nuts and bolts of what we're going to be doing today. But I like to think that we've gathered uh, together as your speakers today quite a few of the better prior and hopefully future candidates in the state of Indiana, if their spouses allow them to be. Uh, and some people who have a good solid idea on the legalities of running for office because it is a legal morass that you can get yourself into if you don't do things properly. Uh, libertarians tend not to raise a whole hell of a lot of money, but when you raise that first nickel, Indiana campaign finance law kicks in, and you have to make sure you do things appropriately. Um, I've run several statewide campaigns for the state party, including uh, a secretary, two, well, one secretary of state's campaign, a governor's campaign. I've run for statewide office myself, in fact, Correct me if I'm wrong, I think I'm still the record holder for statewide office in a three-way contested race. Don't break your arm, Pat, and yourself. I'm not. <laughs> but um, but it's, uh, you'll find that, as Chris puts in the packet that you guys have, it's a it's a difficult, hard thing to do, but it's also a whole hell of a lot of fun. As libertarians, we don't have a vested interest in the political status quo. And because of that, we could challenge people, we could answer, answer correct questions directly, and we don't have to use talking points that are targeted towards special interest groups. Um, that's the kind of stuff, hopefully, that you'll pick up here, as well as the nuts and bolts of running your campaigns. I would strongly encourage everybody in this room to run for state rep or state senate in your district if you are seriously thinking about running for something. I know we'll have county races open, we'll have some other stuff open, uh, as well as the federal uh, uh, Senate and every congressional race open. But where we're going to have impact as libertarians on the on politics in the state of Indiana is specifically in the area of the state legislature. Uh, they get together every year and do some damage to somebody and hopefully if we get a few people elected that will tend to um, modify the trouble they could cause. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to bring up Chris Spangle to do our general introductions, tell you what's going to be happening the rest of the day. And uh, again, I appreciate everybody, a lot of new faces here, and uh, hopefully we will see more of you as the years go by. Thank you. I'm Executive Director of the Libertarian Party of Indiana. I have been in this position for a year. I previously worked at News Talk 1430, WXNT is the morning show producer of Abdul in the Morning, and I've spent probably at least six years, half a dozen years in local politics um, in the fight and trying to make a difference, especially in the last year, for the libertarians. Because I believe third parties are the only way to upset the balance that we have between Republicans and Democrats. As you get further into this process and you see your Republican versus your Democrat, uh, council members, state legislators, your board members, your city your county council members and your candidates, all they think about is if you're a Republican and I'm a Democrat, I oppose you. And it doesn't matter if your idea is right. We have a situation here in Indianapolis, we had it, uh, we have it federally, where the Democrats are now opposing things that they advocated four years ago because the Republicans are now in power. So, and vice versa on the federal level. And the way that we upset that balance is to run strong campaigns. In 2008, we ran 14 state level candidates. And I'm glad to see so many new faces here because I want to hit 125 state level candidates here in Indiana. 
because the more people that we have out marching in House districts and Senate districts, stumping for not only your candidacy, but the libertarian ideal as a whole, the better our message will get across, the more effective we will be every election cycle from here on out. And so I want to thank you for making the sacrifice of a Saturday afternoon and hopefully a lot of Saturday afternoons for the next year because it is through a third party that we will upset the two party, as George Washington called it, the two party terror. So I want to thank you. How many of you know what you're running for and if you're definitely running? Raise your hand. How many of you? How many of you have no idea what you want to run for, but you think you want to run for something as a libertarian? Okay. How many of you are here are, are just have no idea if you want to run at all, but never even really thought about it before? Okay. All right. It's good to know. Sam, those are the people to attack afterwards. Uh, no, yeah. Talk to you. Talk to <laughs> If you haven't in the past told us of your interest for running for office, or if you know some other people, who want to run for office, send them to lpin.org forward slash run for office. And there's also a red tab on our web page. Have them fill out that form, and that sends it to the headquarters, and then we know. Uh, we don't know how to help you if you don't tell us how to help you. I want to thank Thrasher, Bushman, Griffith, and Vogel, PC's attorney of law, and Mark Rutherford for letting us use this space today. For campaign headshots, contact Sean Williams. He's a Marion County Libertarian. It's a professional photographer who could not be here today, but he has said that if you just arrange a time with him, he'll do it for free. A professional headshot, if you don't have a professional headshot, it is one of the most frustrating things for me, for you, and anybody involved in your campaign, and especially the media. I cannot stress how important that is, and a big thank you to Sean Williams for doing that for us. He has a professional studio, the address is right there, all his contact info, get a hold of him, he will do it for you. We may even set up a candidate picture day and have everybody come down in a suit, just march through, get their picture taken, and then he's gonna do that for us. So please give him a call. Feel free to contact me anytime, I'm here to help you. Uh, I'm, I'm one man, I'm the paid employee of the Libertarian Party of Indiana. Uh, so a lot of times I will direct you to your county chair or to your central committee rep for more specific information because there's 92 counties and it's not that I'm, I don't care, because I do care, and I'm here to help you in any way I can, but I also, we also have 30 county chairs and 13 members who are also there to help assist you. And so I can direct you and answer your questions in any way and get you the help you need in filling out paperwork, in getting your campaign headshot. So call me and ask me first, because if I don't know the answer, I can tell you who knows the answer. Does that make sense? So, okay. So I want to bring up Mike Cole. Mike ran for Secretary of State in 2006. The Secretary of State's race, if you don't know, is the race that we gain ballot access. If you run as a Libertarian in 2010, you don't have to petition a single county clerk. And it's because of Mike Cole and the great race that they ran in 2006. The Libertarian Party of Indiana gains ballot access by gaining 2% in the Secretary of State's race. That gives us the minor party status. That means we have ballot access. If we get 10%, in the Secretary of State's race, we get major party status. That opens us up to a primary. Uh, that opens us up to a voter registration file, which means you could all vote, uh, register as libertarians in the primary, which means we would have access to the 50,000 people who voted for Andy Horning and anybody else who, who calls himself a libertarian. Um, and that would be huge for us, just that data. That's one thing that the state law does not grant to us, and not having that data is, is, is a huge setback. Um, the way that you're nominated now, if you live, if you're running for a state house race, you have to come to the state convention on April 24th, uh, and I don't know if you have to personally be there, do you? No. And then the secretary of the party and Sam, the chairman, will sign off on your candidate form that I think Mike's going to talk about. And uh, if you run for a county race, it's your county chairman. If there is no affiliated party in your county, it would go to the state. 